Welcome back. Time now for the Friday night races. Tonight's a huge night, a gorgeous night for high school track. We'll begin our highlights at Pekin's Memorial Stadium and the Pekin Dragon Relays and Races. And we'll start in the 110 high hurdles. Travis Gill on the inside for Normal West finishes second as a Geneseo Maple Leaf runs away with the title. Richwood Zenon Rule finished third. In the 800s, the guys here, Aiden, Aiden Swanlin and Ethan Snyder right there for Normal West who wind up 1-2. Meanwhile, in the 100, keep an eye on the left side. Richwood's Darren Doucette is first. Kyson Ford of Washington second, Gabe Ziegler Harris of East Peoria third. Congrats to the winners. At the East Peoria Girls Meet of Champions, a normal community swept all the relays. Four by one, four by two, four by four, four by eight. Kendall Luke anchoring the winning four by two relay for normal community. In the 400, it's a freshman for normal community, Lily Cavanaugh, the winner. A great night for the Lady Iron tonight at East Peoria. Metamora hosting their mock speed and flight night in the Richwoods girls. Showing off the speed. They go 1 2 in the 200. Lena Jackson, the winner for Peoria Richwoods. In the boys' 200, it's Morton's Carl Whitaker winning the race for running away with it right here. Meanwhile, in the high jump, normal communities, Chris Taylor, six foot six here for the win. Taylor, the ISU Redbird football recruit, showing off on the high jump. Now to Eureka for the Roger Washburn Invitational. We'll start in the girls 800. Olympia's Anna Bieber is, I think, smiling, maybe gritting her teeth as she finishes in first place. She's smiling tonight with that great run. Cambria Geyer of Tremont won the 100 hurdles and seconds later she came back to win the 100 dash. What an athlete Geyer from Tremont is. A great 100 boys race. Watch IVC's Andrew Burwell just gets clipped at the end. Olympia's Reagan Sitton the winner and a great 1-2 finish. But the story of the night was in the 800 meters. The Eureka's a school famous for the 800 meters. Charlie Bardwell tonight runs a 154-4. Unofficially it's a new school record breaking the record of the great Johnny Real, what a moment for Charlie Bardwell, the senior on his senior night. It's incredible. I've been truly blessed this season. Just, you know, it's been a great season. And to be able to do something like that in a school full of so many great runners, just, yeah, it's, a, it's amazing. Congratulations to Charlie Boy. Was that fun to watch tonight? We head to the ball diamond now for a couple of great middle line eye versus Big 12 baseball matchups. First, East Peoria travels to Peoria and Notre Dame. We'll watch East Peoria with Connor Watson on the mound. And the Hidden Boys are going to get it done here. Owen Hidden at third base. The nice pickup and throws to Landon Hidden, who turns second baseman into first baseman. The great stretch right there by Landon hit him. But Peoria Notre Dame scores a most impressive win. Ryan Ringenberg, the base hit. Liam Ludolf is coming home. Peoria Notre Dame a winner as Ludolf hits home plate. The Irish win it 2-1, a big win for PND. Pekin hosting Peoria Richwoods. Uh, Pekin was down 5-zip, but boy, when they started rallying, they just never stopped. Scotty Jordan just Loops that one into left field right here to score Brady Bolin for the Dragons. Then it's Kierden Bolin with the RBI base hit that gets through. That'll score a run as well. Scotty Jordan's coming home with the run. Later, Connor Martin with the sacrifice fly. And again, Pekin got the bats going. They won a wild one over Peoria Richwoods. 11-8. to The Pekin Dragons are winners. We had to softball now. Washington visiting Bloomington. Bailey Herrick in the very first inning is going to put the Panthers on top. She'll play two with the base hit right here, scoring Carly Vaughn and Layla Harris right behind. It was two zip Washington. Later, still in the first inning, Lauren Campomanis is going to drive in Malone McKinley. And a good day for Washington. A big bounce back after a tough loss to Metamore yesterday. They come back and the weekend's much better now after a 10 zip win. Olympia hosting Normal West in softball. And Danica Frazier was terrific in the circle. She always is the high heat for a strikeout. Kat Springer is going to play a little small ball with his slap base hit on the infield right there by the speedy Springer. Frazier doesn't play small ball. She plays bombs away. Look at that one go. Wow, wound up in my near, I believe. The long home run by Frazier. Olympia out slugs Normal West 10-1, to the final score. Let's head to Brimfield now where Brimfield was hosting Lewistown. We're going to start our highlights with Lewistown's Miley Sowers out in left field. And Miley's coming, coming, coming and making the catch. And I think she might be a little surprised, but very happy. Nice catch right there by Miley Sowers. Kylie Vaughn, the line drive base hit. Sweet swing by Kylie. Drives in Ella Flory. Later, it's going to be Kiara Johnson driving in Vaughn. And boy, Brumfield can swing the bats. Brumfield, the winner today over Lewistown.